Last year I made a video about the loudness normalization on Spotify and it's all over the news that Spotify lowered its target this week to minus 14 LUFS. And almost everybody in the audio engineering world is reporting that the loudness war is finally over. To which I say almost over. All major music streaming services, Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, now include some pretty decent loudness normalization. And that will enable everybody that creates dynamic audio to stand out in between the rest. And now that we have the solution in place, we only need the awareness on the creator's side. Because here's what I see happening all the time. Almost every artist, producer, creator, everybody that has got something to do with audio likes to compare themselves against others, against things that are already out there. And this comparison always happens in an environment that isn't loudness normalized. For instance, a DAW, but also VLC media player or QuickTime or Windows media player. Does it even exist still? And when the reference track is louder than the track the artist is making, he will do anything to get it as loud as the reference track. And if we want to change this, we need to change the reference tracks. And the reference tracks are mostly from top artists. You know, the biggest artists on the, on the planet. And if they choose to step down into the loudness, then the change will happen further down the line. So changing the loudness needs to start at the top of the artist. As soon as they realize that they can be less loud, then the rest will go with them. That's how I see the creative world and the music world is working. Almost everybody looks at the status quo that's already out there. But now the biggest question for everybody that watches my videos. I'm pretty sure that Armin van Buren or David Guetta, Afrojack or I don't know, all those artists aren't watching my videos. So my advice for you is the following. And it depends a bit on the situation you're in. If you are an independent artist, so you have your own distribution channels and stuff, then I would advise to go with the new loudness norms for the Spotify, iTunes and YouTube uploads and also all the other services you need to... There's a lot of information on the internet about it. So if there isn't anybody in between you and releasing your music, you can go with the new norm and nobody will complain. But if you want to go label shopping with your track, going with a USB stick to someone else to have them listen to your track or send it out to a label manager, A&R manager or what else, then I would advise you strongly to go with roughly minus seven, minus six LUFS loudness because the person that is going to listen to your track mostly isn't listening it in a loudness normalized environment because why should he? And you know, most of those persons are listening hours upon hours of music. So if your track is less loud than the rest, it will disappoint them a bit. But that's how I think about it. And I really want to know your opinion about this subject and about the strategies you should do in 2017 in terms of loudness. So let me know in the comments below. I would be happy to hear them and I will also reply to them and start up a discussion because it is the most interesting subject in audio engineering right now. For now, I want to ask you to check out my Patreon campaign. And of course, I want to thank you for your time. Bye bye.